Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from what we have here. From what is given here, which is 4 raised to power x minus 2 equals to 15. This follows from when we have a raised to power m minus n, which is equal to a raised to power m over a raised to power n. That is, here, this can be written as 4 raised to power x over 4 square equals to 15 on this side. That is, here, this is also 15 over 1. And when we cross multiply, 4 raised to power x times 1, you give us 4 raised to power x, then equals to 15 times 4 square here. Then, next step here, let's take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log 4 raised to power x, then equals to log into brackets 15 times 4 square on this side. Then, here we can apply the power of logarithm from where we have log m raised to power p, which is equals to p log m. Then, here this becomes x log 4 equals to log 15 times 4 square on this side. That is, next step here, we can divide both sides by log 4 and also divide this side by log 4. Here, log 4, we cancel each other and we have x equals to log 15 times 4 square over log 4. Then, when we apply the law of logarithm here, from when we have log a times b, which can be written as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here now becomes x equals to log 15 plus log 4 square, then over log 4. Then from here, we separate this fraction into two fractions and we have x equals to log 15 over log 4 plus log 4 square over log 4. That is, here, from the power law of logarithm, Two can come here and we have this becomes x equals to log 15 over log 4 then plus 2 log 4 over log 4 from here that is here log 4 cancel each other we have 2 left which implies we have x equals to log 15 over log 4 plus 2 and also here when we simplify further we can rewrite 15 here as 3 times 5 that is what we have becomes x equals to log 3 times 5 over log 4 then plus 2 here. Then also from the law of logging, we separate this and we have x equals to log 3 plus log 5 over log 4 plus, lo, plus 2 from here. And here what we have here, we can separate this into two fractions and this becomes x equals to log 3 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 plus 2 here. That is also from here, 
we can simplify further and write 4 as 2 times 2 which is also 2 squared then what we have here becomes x equals to log 3 over log 2 square then plus here we have log 5 over log 2 squared plus 2 from here that is here this also can be written as x equals to log 3 over 2 log 2 then plus log 5 over 2 log 2 plus 2 from here then we can rewrite this and we separate this as x equals to half times log 3 over log 2 then plus also here we have half times log 5 over log 2 then plus 2 from here and here from change of base when we have log a over log b this can be written as log a to base b then here what we have becomes x equals to half log 3 to base 2 then plus half log 5 to base 2 then plus 2 so we have the value of x in this given problem as x equals to half log 3 base 2 plus half log 5 base 2 plus 2 then let's check if what we have we satisfy this given problem from here we have x equals to half log 3 base 2 plus half log 5 base 2 plus 2 now when we substitute here what we have becomes 4 raised to power half log 3 base 2 plus half log 5 base 2 plus 2 then we have minus 2 is equals to 15 from here that is here plus 2 minus 2 cancel out and we are left with 4 raised to power here since we have half it implies half is common so we have half into bracket log 3 base 2 then plus log 5 base 2 and is this equals to 15 from here then from here 4 can be written as 2 square then raised to power half times log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 then is it equals to 15 here yeah. since this multiply 2 can cancel each other and we have 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 and is this equals to 15 here yeah. then also from the law of logarithm a indices a raised to power m plus n this equals to a raised to power m times a raised to power n and we can separate this and this gives us 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 and is this equals to 15 then follow the law of indices from logarithm a raised to power log b to base a is same thing as b from here that is here this will be 3 times here this will be 5 and is equals to 15 3 times 5 of course that's 15 
which is equals to 15 and we have the left hand side equals to right hand side and then hence from here we conclude that x equals to half log 3 base 2 plus half log 5 base 2 plus 2 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section see you next class and bye for now